China has announced a breakthrough in hypersonic flight, an engine capable of reaching Mach 16 or 12,276 miles per hour. This development, if true, would surpass existing jet engine technologies and redefine the future of aerospace and military capabilities. To understand why this new engine is significant, we need a quick dive into the history of hypersonic flight. From the 1950s to the 1980s, the US and USSR focused primarily on ballistic missiles and space travel. In 2004, NASA's X-43A scramjet set a world record by reaching Mach 9.6. Over the next two decades, the US tested the X-51 Wave Rider, while Russia developed the avant-garde hypersonic glide vehicle. Now, in 2025, China claims to have tested a new oblique detonation engine, ODE, potentially surpassing all existing hypersonic engines. So what makes this engine special? Most hypersonic aircraft today rely on scramjet engines, which compress incoming air at high speeds to ignite fuel. However, scramjets have limitations, they struggle beyond Mach 10 and are prone to flameouts. China's OD offers a game-changing alternative. Instead of conventional combustion, it uses shock waves to sustain an explosion, making it significantly more efficient. It operates between Mach 6 and Mach 16, burns fuel 1000 times faster than scramjets and features an 85% smaller combustor making aircraft lighter and extending their range. Reaching Mach 16 is about more than just speed, it's a battle against extreme temperatures, fuel efficiency and real-world performance. One major challenge is heat resistance as surfaces at these speeds can exceed 2000 degrees Celsius or 3600 degrees Fahrenheit. While China claims to use advanced ceramics and composites, it remains uncertain whether these materials can endure prolonged flight without degrading. Another challenge is power and fuel efficiency. The ODE uses RP3 jet fuel, which is preheated to 6380 degrees Fahrenheit before ignition, allowing for efficient combustion in controlled conditions. However, what works in a wind tunnel may not translate to real-world applications, especially in dynamic flight environments. Perhaps the most significant concern is the lack of real-world flight tests. Unlike the US X-51 Wave Rider, which demonstrated hypersonic flight under real conditions, China's ODE has only been tested in a wind tunnel. Until a successful test flight is conducted, the technology remains unproven. But the big question remains, is this breakthrough real or overhyped? There are several reasons to be skeptical. First, there is no independent verification of China's claims, as all reported data comes from Chinese state media and sources tied to government-backed institutions. Second, the engine has only been tested in a wind tunnel meaning there is no real-world flight data to confirm whether it can function under actual flight conditions. Wind tunnel tests are valuable, but they do not replicate the full complexity of atmospheric flight, such as turbulence, pressure variations, and long-duration operation. Lastly, while the US and Russia have both developed advanced scramjet technology, neither country has yet achieved sustained Mach 16 flight in an operational aircraft. If China's oblique detonation engine ODE can be successfully integrated into a flying platform, it would mark a major technological leap. However, until a successful test flight is conducted and independently verified, skepticism remains about whether this breakthrough is truly as revolutionary as claimed. What do you think? Is China really ahead in the hypersonic race or is this another overhyped claim? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more deep dives into aerospace and military technology.